YouTube family, what's going on, man? This your man, Pristine, back with the Pristine review for the Blue G91 Pro. Let's dive right in. All right, now, first off, the price and the specifications. Now, the Blue G91 Pro here is $199.99. It's $200. Link is down below in the description. I ordered it from Amazon, and so if you're interested in getting your hands on this device, Click on that link in the description box and it will take you right to the page where you order it from. All right, so that's number one. Now the specifications, we've got a 6.7 inch IPS LCD 1080p by 2400 pixel display, okay? This is an HD plus infinity dot display and they call it the infinity dot display because you've got the little dot selfie camera right there at the top center of the display. So this is an HD plus infinity dot display all right we've got a 20 by 9 aspect ratio we've got a 395 ppi pixel density and we've got a screen to body ratio of 91.4 percent now the internal specifications we've got a media tech aha i did say media tech now a lot of people think that when you mention media tech they think that the phone is just a slouch they think that it can't compare they think that it's an underachiever why why is that MediaTek has made some really good processors over the years. Now, you know, some of their processors, I mean, they're very comparable to Snapdragon. Some of them, they perform right on par with Snapdragon. And so I think a lot of people, they're put off and turned off when you mention MediaTek. But as I'm getting ready to display here shortly, this phone definitely performs. And so don't allow the internal specifications to deter you from this device if you're looking for a bargain, because I think that this phone is definitely a good value for a $200 price point. All right, so as I mentioned, we've got the MediaTek MT678 uh, or 6785 Helio IG90. And this is a gaming chipset. And so this phone, it's, it, you know, it, it's, it, it was produced for gaming. And so, I mean, specifically you could run Fortnite like super smooth on this device. Matter of fact, you know, you got Fortnite advertisements all over the box and everything with this phone. I mean, so this phone is definitely going to be able to do some things when it comes to gaming. All right. Now we have a 2.0 gigahertz octa-core CPU. We've got a Mali G76 GPU. We've got 128 gigabytes of storage, six gigs of RAM, Android 11 micro SD card slot, which can be expanded up to 256 gigabytes of storage. Okay. And it has the latest ARM Cortex A76 octa-core architecture. So that also too is going to uh, uh, prove dividends, you know, when you're, you know, when you're gaming and just the overall performance of the device. Okay, um, so now the build quality, uh, I've got the case on this device. And you know, one of the main things that I love about blue devices is they, they, they include everything in the box, right? Everything is in the box as it ought to be. Now on the front, you've got a, I'm not sure if this is Corning Gorilla Glass. Um, I know for a fact that the rear is like a plastic back but it's like it's kind of got like this glossy or not necessarily a glossy but kind of like this matte type of feel even though i know that it's a plastic back um <clears throat> this is the graphite uh color and it comes in two colors graphite and moonstone and that moonstone is just like a pinkish white you know it's one of those color combinations where when light reflects off of it then it changes color it's a beautiful beautiful looking device and at the time that i ordered this phone i wasn't able to get my hands on that particular one the graphite was the only one that was available you could see though the graphite too it's kind of like a grayish blue kind of has like a diff a little shimmer to it when light hits it you know it's it's a really good looking device um you can see that the camera hub it protrudes ever so slightly so it's not really dramatic i mean when you put the phone down on a flat surface you know you're gonna have a little bit of rocking but it's not it's not too dramatic at all whatsoever so i'm actually a fan of the build of this device you can see around the corners it's rounded around the corners leading to the front display so holding this phone you know it's not it's not a cumbersome experience at all whatsoever now the phone is big i mean it's a 6.7 inch uh, uh uh screen size i mean so obviously you know the body of the device is going to be big to accommodate that 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 massive screen size um so if you've got smaller hands i can see why this device can be cumbersome to some 
But I mean, you know, to me, I've gotten so used to to wielding, you know, bigger devices. I mean, it's not really a big deal to me. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. So, yeah. So, you know, the build quality, like I said, I can't, I think this is Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on the front. Don't quote me on that, though. I could be wrong and I don't want to mislead you guys. Um, but uh, overall, I mean, I, I think that the construction you know, is, is really solid on this device. And again, you know, it's a $200 device. I mean, so you can't expect to get, you know, the top of the line, you know, premium material, but blue, they always seem to make some really quality feeling devices. I mean, it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't, it, it doesn't feel like if you drop it, that it's going to break just like that. I mean, the phone, it definitely feels as though it's got some durability to it. It's got a little bit of heft, you know, it's not too heavy, but you, you know, it's not like a, like a brick in your pocket. It's not going to weigh you down or anything like that, but you will definitely know that you got something in your pocket. I mean, so, um, yeah, you know, I think, you know, the overall build quality is solid. It gets a thumbs up from me. Now performance, as I mentioned, MediaTek Helio G90 processor gaming chipset. What is that going to do for you? It's just going to give you solid performance. Now we don't have a higher refresh rate on this device. Okay, we're stuck at 60 hertz. You know, in this day and age in 2021, would I have liked to seen at least 90 hertz on this phone? Absolutely. I mean, but you know, and you just, you get that 60 hertz choppiness. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, you know, the little, the, the, the choppiness that you would see is nothing out of the ordinary that you would see on any other device that has a 60 hertz display. Okay. So, I mean, aside from that, the device, it breezes with no problems at all whatsoever. I mean, as you can see, I mean, the phone is super, super responsive. Um, it, it responds with no delay to every, you know, finger command that I'm throwing at it. As you can see, this is my Google now feed, you know, a ton of information there scrolling, you know, pages back and forth is, is not a problem at all whatsoever. My app drawer scrolling up and down, you see how it just responds lightning fast. I mean, so, you know, when a phone performs like this, I mean, it, it raises the question to me, do you really need a higher refresh rate? No, you don't. I mean, it, it, it's something that's wanted. It's something that's desired now that we've been blessed with that technology on devices. And I understand, I mean, if you've never had a device that had a higher refresh rate, you're not going to miss it because you can't miss what you never had. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, if you had a higher refresh rate device and then you went to this, you would notice a difference. Now, would it be a determining factor to where you just felt like this was unusable? Absolutely not. I mean, most of our devices have, you know, higher refresh rate displays on up to 144 hertz. You know what I mean? But I mean, the 60 hertz a refresh rate on this device, it's non-offensive. You know, it's just the typical 60 hertz choppiness. You know, that, that was what the business was, you know, before we started having higher refresh rates. And so I'm not going to start to knock it now. You know what I mean? Now, again, too, this phone is not a 5G device. I mean, it's it's 4G LTE. Um, and so I think that's another thing that contributes to the fact that this phone is 199. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to knock blue for that either because 5G is still in its infancy stages. Like, you know, a lot of the carriers, they're like, oh, man, you know, we got the, the high speed 5G, blah, blah, blah. A lot of that stuff is low brand, low band 5G. You know what I mean? And it's just going to be solely dependent on where you are. I'm in Seattle. And so, you know, I, I mean, I, these carriers, they claim 5G. But to be honest with you, my data speeds on 5G, from what I can tell, is not too much quicker than what I was experiencing with 4G LTE. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and, and I know that the, the main purpose of 5G is to get top quality Wi-Fi speeds on a device without it being connected to Wi-Fi, connected to Wi-Fi, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? That's just like a, like a real simple breakdown of 5G. Like that's, that's, that's the goal. Like you notice how your devices run when you connect to Wi-Fi at your home, you got a really strong connection, downloads and things are lightning quick. Well, 5G is trying to basically match that, match those types of speeds, but on a, on a, on a, on a data cellular connection. You know what I mean? And so I'm just saying, with the 5G that I have on my phones, my 5G devices, if I were to, you know, have them side by side with a 4G LTE device, you're not going to see just speeds that are just going to completely blow the 4G LTE device out of the water. That said, this phone is still a top quality performer on 4G LTE. And here, I will prove it to you. We'll go to Spotify. This is a real content heavy application. 
Okay, it took what, one, what, three, four seconds to load that up. Man, not a big deal at all whatsoever. Okay, we're gonna go over to YouTube Music. Again, tons of music on my YouTube Music. What, try smart now, it's not, not now. Okay, tons of music there. Has not a problem opening it up. If I wanna go shopping, boom, we'll go to Amazon. Okay. And you can see as it's loading, things are nice and responsive as they ought to be. You know, if I wanna go to Best Buy and you know, see what I can cop, you know, boom. Same thing. It just loads right up with zero issues at all whatsoever, okay? Swipe up, hold. RAM management looks to be solid. If I wanna go back to, let's say, YouTube Music, boom, it just pops right into it. The RAM holds everything beautifully, okay? None of that reloading. If I wanna go back to Best Buy, boom, it's right there. If I wanna go back to, say, Spotify, boom, Spotify is right there for me. Everything is held nicely in the RAM, okay? So, what? Uh, what? Keith Sweat got a new single with Raheem Devon? Oh, okay, man, I'm gonna have to jam that, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to jam that. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. So, you know, swipe up, hold, hit clear all, boom. Gets everything right up out of there. All right. So, you know, you know, you question this device because of its internal spec specifications with the, uh, with the MediaTek processor. It performs, as I just displayed. Okay. Now, cameras. On the front, 16 megapixel sensor. On the rear, quad camera system, we've got a 48 megapixel main sensor, a 5 megapixel ultra wide sensor with a, with 115 degree field of view. We've got a two megapixel uh, uh, depth sensor and a two megapixel macro sensor. We do have 4K recording at 30 FPS. We also have 1080p recording at 30 FPS and that is for the rear cameras. Now on the rear cameras, we also have a technology called super zoom 108 megapixel mode. This is a 12,000 by 9024 resolution. We got 30 times zoom in. We have extreme night mode, and then we have MFNR, which stands for multi-frame noise reduction. Okay, um, that's all with the rear camera. With the selfie camera, again, 16 megapixels, no 4K recording on the front, just 1080p at 30 FPS. It's a 16 megapixel f2.0 aperture, um, you know, uh, uh, lens. And it's pretty solid, okay? So stay tuned in the uh, tail end of the video. Timestamps will be down below. You can just click right on that timestamp in the description box and it'll take you right to the camera review if that's something that you wanna do right now, all right? But um, yeah, now, battery life. Now here's one, there, there's, this is another area where this device shines, the battery. The battery is 5,000 milliamps. Okay, we've got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, and given the fact that this is technically a gaming phone, you wanna make sure that you've got battery life, crazy battery sustainability. I'm talking about that Barry White stay in power. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're gonna be gaming, you don't want the cell to run out super easily. And so, you know, that doesn't just benefit you when you're gaming, it just benefits you overall with the overall usage of this device. Now, your battery life, I tell people in my videos all the time, I don't be, you know, displaying screen on time and all this and that. I've always been a light to moderate user. So with most of my devices, I get really, I get pretty good battery life, even with devices that have not so good battery life, okay? This device, you're gonna be easily able to get through at least two and a half days on a single charge. That's what's that's what's been that's what I've been able to pull down on a single charge with this device. Again, that's going to depend on how you use your device. That has everything to do with how I use my device. Okay, if I was a heavy user, streaming, con, you know, uh, downloading, movie watching, all that, yeah, I wouldn't get two and a half days on a single charge with that type of usage. Okay, so five thousand milliamp hour battery. Um, we do have, it's a 30 watt five cha uh, uh, fast charger that comes in the box. Um, you know, Blue claims 50% charge in 20 minutes and that is accurate information. Okay, that is accurate. The phone was down to zero. I plugged it into the wall within about 20 minutes. I was at 50, I, I think it was at like 52%. Okay, and then it's just, you know, from zero to 100, that's gonna be about, mm, about an hour 
in 15 minutes, I want to say. It was somewhere around there to get it fully charged from zero to 100. Okay. Now, another thing to mention too, we've got 10 watt wireless charging as well. So you do have wireless charging capabilities with this device. Yes, you do have wireless charging capabilities on a $200 device. All right. So that is a nice feature here. Okay. Now, additional features that I like. I like the fact that when we long press on the device, we have effects. We can change the scrolling effects. Give me customizability. I like that. The more I'm able to customize my device, the better, the more I like it because it gives me the more, you know, more things to play with. And I can really customize my phone so that it just doesn't look like everybody else's device, right? I like that. Okay. Okay. And so, wait, wait, was that the effect that I had or was it? Was it the windmill? Okay. Yeah. It was the box, the outer box. Okay. Okay, and you guys see that scrolling effect. Like that's pretty dope to me. I like that. You know, I just like having the ability to customize my phone to stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, the selfie camera. You raise up the phone, hold it up, boom. And it just unlocks just like that as soon as it faces you. Okay, so we'll go ahead and lock it, raise the phone up. You see that the facial recognition is lightning quick. I really like that. You know, um, another security feature that I like, boom. Fingerprint sensor on the rear, okay, you'll see. Barely tap it. Opens the phone right on up with no delay, okay? No problems at all whatsoever, works 100% of the time, never had an issue with it. Another thing that I like too, is when you go into the device settings, uh, wait a second, where is it at? All right, my bad for that y'all. So real quick, yeah. So one of the things that I was looking for was when you go into the settings, I'm not sure what happened, but before, right when you would pop in the settings, Blue would have right at the top, like some of the most pertinent information that it thought you were in the settings for. And I found it to be pretty useful because a lot of things that one would be looking for in the settings, they were just right there at the top as opposed to having to scour through all of the settings to get to those things. Now, I do like the fact that right off top, Usually about device is way down here in the bottom. And so I'm a fan of the fact that it's at the top. Okay. Um, God, I wonder why it switched. Like I'm, that, That's very strange to me. Because when I went into the settings earlier, it had all that stuff. I wanted to show that, but I'm not exactly sure where to go to get that back. Anyway. Not really a big deal. Again, Android 11, I mean, so I'm pretty sure you guys, you know, are familiar with this particular setup here. You know, typical Android 11 setup. Um, you've got all, you know, your features, functions, of just your, your settings, <laughs> you know. Um, so those are just some of the things that I like the most out of the device. Um, and one of the main things, here's one of the main things. I love that Blue continues to school Apple, Samsung, Motorola, OnePlus. They continue to school all of these heavy hitter devices by what? By including everything in the box, okay? I cannot fathom how I can spend a thousand dollars on a device and all I'm getting is the phone and I'm not even getting a charging brick. But with this device and many other blue devices that I've featured here on the channel, I'm, you see we get this, this, this rugged, you know, what's this? This like this carbon fiber, you know, material case. It's got all the perfect cutouts for all the buttons and everything. You're getting this case. Oh, and you can see in the case, that little hole right there, we do have a headphone jack. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, we get the case. We get a screen protector. You know, we get the dongle that comes in the box. You know, uh, uh, um, oh, actually, no, this, this has, um, I'm thinking of another device. But I mean, for all the devices that were Type-C that Blue has, if it didn't have a 3.5 jack, they would include the dongle. That's how good they are with including everything in the box so that you don't have to go and buy accessories elsewhere. Okay. Um, so I just like the fact that you're getting everything that you need in the box. All you have to do is purchase this device and you got everything. You're getting the device. You're getting a 30 watt fast charger. You're getting a case. You're getting a tempered glass screen protector. Okay. You're getting everything that you need in the box with this device. That is huge for $199.99 plus taxes. I mean, so I think with taxes, I paid like two, $220.84 or something like that. That's, that's exactly what I paid, including taxes. Okay. That is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm telling you, this phone is a great bargain. You're getting crazy value for the money. You're getting a lot of phone. You're getting all the, all the features and functions that you can want and need. You're getting all the accessories that you need, case, screen protector, 30 watt fast charging brick in the box. You know what I'm saying? You're literally getting everything, everything, okay? So if you are in the market for a new phone, but you don't believe in spending hundreds of dollars because it's just a phone. And you know that these budget and mid range devices, they all do pretty similar things. You know what I mean? They take decent photos. You got the ability to scroll the internet, get all up, get on your, your social media platforms, you know, all that type of stuff, man. I mean, if you don't want to pay hundreds of dollars, if you can't afford to pay hundreds of dollars, Blue, they got you right here with the Blue G91 Pro. It's $200, link is down below in the description. This is an excellent, and I mean excellent value. That's all I got, ladies and gentlemen, for the full pristine review for the Blue Bold Like Us G91 Pro review. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to expose yourself to tons of videos that I've done like this one. If you are in the market for a smartphone, check out my catalog because I've got a lot of smartphone content to help you make an informed decision on what your next smartphone purchase may be. That's what I do this for. All right. Be sure to click that notifications bell so that when my videos drop and go live, you'll get notified and be one of the first to check out my new content as it drops. Get down in the comment section, which is where I'm always chilling at. And I'm open to any questions, comments, or feedback that you guys may have. My only ask is that we keep it respectful in the comment section. I love to talk tech with you guys. All right. I appreciate all the love and support. And you guys already know, please stay safe, get spiritually fit and keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. Stay tuned because I've got the camera review rolling right now, y'all. Peace. Catch you on the next video. What's going on YouTube family? This is your man, Pristine. All right, so here is the rear quad camera system for the Blue G91 Pro. Now, like I just mentioned, we got four cameras. We've got a 48 megapixel uh, primary sensor. We've got a five megapixel ultra wide sensor. We've got a two megapixel depth sensor, and we've got a two megapixel macro sensor. All right, now, um, according to my notes here, there is no optical image stabilization on the device here. Um, so I am holding the phone with two hands, super steady, but you know what? I'm not going to babysit it. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and walk normally, you know, walk around the house with that slow bop, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 with that pimp limp, you know what I'm talking about? You know, walking with that pimp limp and, uh, <laughs> you know, you know how I do. Now we do have LED flash, HDR, panorama, and 4K recording at 30 FPS and 1080p recording also at 30 FPS. All right, so um, pardon the background noise. If you guys can hear that, we're like in the middle of a storm here in Seattle. I mean, the rain is beating down on the Korean. Matter of fact, it's like thundering and lightning and carrying on. Y'all see that? Oh man. 
Woo! It's nasty out here. Now, you know I'm under the little shed <laughs> from the house. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> the lightning has been shaking the house and everything. It's just been crazy. But, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, from what I can tell in the viewfinder, I mean, things are looking crystal clear here. Now, I understand that, you know, some of you may have some reservations over the fact that this phone is a $200 device. And one of the main reasons why I wanted to feature this device is to let you know that, hey, in 2021, it's kind of hard to get your hands on a device that isn't of quality and that doesn't have decent enough cameras for your average consumer. OK, so, you know, in 2021, I mean, the technology on these mobile devices has gotten so good. It really is hard, no matter what your what, what price you pay. And obviously, you know, you get what you pay for. I mean, you know, uh, for sure, you know, the more money you spend, you know, the more the more quality the product is going to be. And you would expect to get, you know, what I'm saying, I mean, higher quality performance with the cameras and stuff like that. But that isn't always necessarily the case. And I wanted to bring this device in here because I knew that it was a good one. And as you can see, you know, through the viewfinder that the camera is pretty solid, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, very you know, for the average consumer, you know, the average consumer will be pretty pleased, you know, with this camera. I think that this camera definitely punches way above its weight class, given its price point. Again, this phone was $199.99. The link will be downstairs. Oh, downstairs down below in the description you know what i mean i got this from amazon i mean so if you want to order this device just click on that link and it'll take you right to the page that i ordered it from okay um so yeah ladies and gentlemen this is the quad camera system on the blue bold like us g91 pro now i'm going to switch the camera around we've got a 16 megapixel selfie sensor i'm gonna get some video footage with that and then we'll close this thing on out and I will roll the steel shot images, baby. Yeah. What's going on, YouTube family? This is your man, Pristine, back with another video. Welcome to the Moto Razor 5G redo video. Now, if you're looking to get your hands on one of these bad boys, now is the perfect time to do it. T-Mobile has these joints going right now. All right, y'all, so this is the 16 megapixel selfie snapper on the G91 Pro by Blue Bold like us. You know what I'm saying? Um, 16 megapixels, f2.0 aperture. Uh, there is no 4K recording here. We do have 1080p recording at 30 frames per second, which is adequate enough for me. Um, now, I've got my little cheat sheet right here, all right? Now, apparently this device... Um, and I forgot to mention with the um, with the with the quad cam system on the rear, this phone has a super zoom 108 megapixel mode with the resolution of 12,000 by 9024. And then we've got 30 times zoom in extreme night mode and then something called MFNR, which stands for multi frame noise reduction. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Talking about man, specced up and specced out for two hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but again, like I mentioned, no optical image stabilization. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, when I, you know, I, I the, the video footage that I just captured with the quad cam on the rear looked to be decent, um, and we do have 4K recording on the rear at 30 fps, alongside with you know 30 fps uh, 1080p. So. Um, you know, from what I could tell here, you know, things are looking nice and crisp. You know, I just got the phone sitting up on the arm of the couch. I'm going to just go ahead and pick it up and maneuver around a little bit just so you guys can see what that's looking like. Now, there is no optical image stabilization. So when you are recording video footage with this device, you are going to have to hold the phone tight. If you've got a gimbal or something like that where you can mount the phone to and just hold it with a handle, That'll keep things nice and steady. But if you're recording foot, uh, video footage with this phone in your hand while you're moving, depending on whether or not you got a steady hand, then, you know, your footage may be a little, you know, maybe a little shaky, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe a little shaky. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, here we go on the move with the selfie camera, with the blue, bold like us, G91 
91 Pro. You know what I'm talking about? Things are looking nice and crisp. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Looking nice and crisp. You know, pardon me, y'all. I'm just in a crazy little mood. You know, I'm always joking and clowning and talking trash. You know what I'm saying? You know, I like to mess with y'all, man. Talk to y'all like I talk to my boys, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I bring, 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 brings forth a little bit of authenticity. You know what I'm talking about? Some authenticity. Yeah. So just stepped out the front door. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm going to stay under the shade here because it's still raining, you know, cats and dogs out here. Um, but, uh, man, it's a little cold out here, too, man. Jack Frost is out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jack Frost is out here. Man, summer is definitely over here in the state of Washington. So sad. So sad. Actually, fall is my favorite time of, uh, time of year. So I'm not even tripping. Like, I like the gloominess. You know what I'm saying? The grayness. You know, it's just kind of that 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 chill vibe that, you know, kick back, relax. Ain't really too much going on. It's football season. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my Eagles. You know what I'm saying? They won the day. Close game over Carolina. You know what I'm saying? Close game over Carolina. Man, Eagle Nation, stand up, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. What's up, Jay Will? I see you, boy. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. So feeling good, man. You know what I'm saying? Feeling good on this rainy fall day. Okay, now it's cold. Let me ooh, get back up in this heat. You know what I'm saying? Get back up in the heat. All right. So I'm going to smab on up the stairs, man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. You know? Like I said, the phone doesn't have optical image stabilization, but I'm hoping that I'm holding the phone steady enough to keep it stabilized. <laughs> oh, man. All right, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, can't, can't y'all tell I'll be having fun with this, man? i really be having fun with this, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times this could be this could be work. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys see, you guys see the finished product, but what you don't see is all the behind the scenes stuff, all the notes that are being jotted, all the editing. The editing is really, it can be really grueling, you know what I'm saying, in this line of work, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, man, you know, 16 megapixel sensor on the G91 Pro, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this video, you already know, give it a smash that you know what i'm saying smash that like button you know like share and subscribe if you haven't already you know what i'm saying i mean so that whatever videos drop you know what i'm saying murder that old school beastie boys drop you know what i'm saying what y'all know about the beastie boys man y'all younger generation man google the beastie boys man you know what i'm talking about shout out this shout out to the beastie boys man yeah you know um <laughs> man, the Beastie Boys, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Uh, like, share, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I mean, make sure you do that because I got tons of more content coming down the pipeline. You know what I'm saying? Man, don't call me right now, yo. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Babe, what's up, man? I'm shooting a video, man. Hmm? Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, I'm going to look at it. I'm shooting the video. I'm, 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 I'm going to look at it right now. All right, all right, bye. I lied. Woo. You know what I'm saying? I'm hollering at Charles real quick, man. She's going to have to wait, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell nobody, though. You know, that's, that's, that's between us. That's between us. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Click that like button, like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my catalog. I got tons of content. If you're in the, in the market for a new device, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, hit that notifications bell, you know what I'm saying, because I got tons of more content coming down the pipeline. You know, we're coming up on the tail end of the year. It's Techtober right now, you know what I'm saying, and yeah, it's just tech madness, man. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you get subscribed if you haven't already. To all my subscribers, much love. We creeping up on that 10,000 subscriber mark, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Let's, man, man, let's get it there. That's my goal by the end of the year, you know what I'm saying? My, my band, my boy Zay, he trying to creep up on me, man. Don't get too pieced out here, boy. Nah. Don't get too pieced out here, man. But, uh, yeah, man. So, you know, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the still shot imagery for the Blue G91. And, uh, man, you know, that little bit of musical heaven for your ears, man. Enjoy that. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace. Is that you going to tell them peace, man? All right. Oh, my God. Little.
Wait. Man, put some bass in your voice, man. That little, bye. Stop it. Bye. It's not funny. Bye. <laughs> Peace, y'all.